Kenneth Stein had five laws of migration. These laws were basic migration movements that commonly happened. The first law was every migration flow generates a counterflow. This means that, for example, if someone is moving from Mexico to America, the chances of someone moving from America to Mexico at the same time are very high, which means a counterflow. The second law is that the majority of migrants move a short distance, which means most migrants are going to want to stay in the same continent or near their home country, even if they do have to switch countries because they want to stay close to home. The third law is migrants who move longer distances tend to choose big city destinations. This means that if someone is moving from their home country and they're moving a really long distance like halfway around the world, they're going to want to choose a city to live in just because it has more options of places to go and there's more people to explain stuff and it's just easier to adapt to a city than a small town. The fourth law is urban residents are less migratory than inhabitants of rural areas, which means if someone is living in an urban area right now at their home and they decide they have to move, they're not going to want to move to a rural area. They are going to want to move to a more urban area because that's more what they're used to. And even though they're wanting to leave their home country, they still want to be in the same type of urban area. And the fifth law is families are less likely to make international moves than young adults. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's saying that if a family is going to move, it's a lot more or less likely because they have already settled in, they have grown up together, they are making a family, and they have already made their life decision to raise their kids there and be there. Although young adults are just starting to choose what life path they want and they may be moving for jobs or just opportunities or even just to travel. So young adults have a much higher chance of making an international move. Maria Esquerzo's migration applies to Robinson's second law, which was the majority of migrants move a short distance. This applies to her because she did live in Mexico, her home country, and then whenever she moved, she moved to America, which is still a short distance. Even though they are moving countries, they still stayed in the same continent of North America, so it is considered a short move. Rebecca Collins' migration applied to Rivenstein's fifth law, which was families are less likely to make international moves than young adults. Rebecca decided to move from the UK to America whenever she was a young adult and trying to figure out her life. So it was a lot more likely for her to move to America than her whole family moving to America. Robinson's third law also applies to Rebecca. Robinson's third law was migrants who move longer distance tend to choose big city destinations. She was making a really big move by coming here. She was coming from the UK all the way to America, which is a long distance migration. She decided to move to Plano, which is a re relatively big city. So whenever she moved here, she moved to a big city, which is the third law. Pramela Bupitaraju's migration applied to Robinson's fourth law, which was urban residents are less migratory than inhabitants of rural areas. This means that whenever she was back in India, she lived in an urban area and whenever she first moved here, she also stayed in an urban area just because it's more common and she said it felt a little more easier to adapt in an urban area. Antonio Banderas applies to Ramstein's second law, which is the majority of migrants move a short distance. This applies to him because he did live in Mexico for a while and then he decided to move to America, which he still stayed in the same continent. He just moved a little bit to a different country. Robinstein's fifth law also applies to Antonio. The fifth law is families are less likely to make international moves than young adults. This applies to Antonio because he was a young adult whenever he decided he wanted to move to America and he and him, his whole family did not move to America. It was just him. And it was just him because he was a young adult, he was starting to figure out his life and he wanted to figure out what he was going to do and he wanted to move to America. So he moved to America by himself as a young adult. Those are Robinson's five laws of motion and how they apply to my migrant stories.